Good morning. It still catches me off guard the way my camera pings in at me when I, um, as soon as I go live. Um, but yes, good morning. Um, happy Wednesday. So um, I mentioned last week that I have made a commitment um, to myself, to you, to um, do a Facebook Live here on this page um, every Wednesday morning. Um, my intention was um, to do it at 10 o'clock, um, but <laughs> I've had some technical issues. Um, which have meant that um, I'm slightly delayed, um, but better late than never. Um, and I guess it kind of fits quite well with the topic that I um, wanted to talk about today. Um, so the topic that I'm talking about has actually changed slightly because initially um, I planned to just chat about working with a business coach in general and um, how to know, you know, if you should work with a coach, what a coach does, you know, whether it's the right time to work with a coach and all that kind of stuff. And um, I went for a walk this morning and I was um, listening to the audio book of um, Brenny Brown's, hey Ruth, nice to see you. Um, I was listening to the audio book of um, Brenny Brown's um, Daring Leadership, I think it's called. Daring Leaders, Daring Leadership, I can't remember what it's called, something along those lines. It's very good. <laughs> um, and something she said kind of inspired me and, I, um, and it, it was around... Um, you know, um, how um, important it is to kind of be vulnerable. Um, and hey, Rima, nice to see you. And um, so I kind of um, made a last minute um, change to um, what I'm talking about. And I wanted to come and talk about this idea of making mistakes. Because um, I think um, it's really dangerous um, kind of rhetoric online and uh, um, around this, this uh, I don't know if it's a rhetoric online, it's this, this idea that we have that, you know, when we make mistakes that somehow equates to um, failing um, or being bad at what we do. Um, it, it kind of, I mean, funnily enough, it, that also links to something that Brené Brown talks about. Um, I've, got, I've obviously got a lot of Brené Brown going around in my head at the moment. So Brené Brown um, talks about the difference between um, shame and um, well all sorts of things she talks about shame in general and how shame in, is this idea that I think it was guilt shame and guilt maybe um, shame is this idea that I am bad um, and we do this don't we in our businesses you know we equate and guilt is basically I've done a bad thing um, I've made a mistake um, and um, in our businesses we uh, you know and I think women are especially um, bad at this we take something that's happened that's something we, we may have done something that may have gone wrong in our business and we immediately internalize that as a personal failure a personal reflection on us and our you know our abilities and our skills and our success and all of this kind of stuff and we have to stop doing that um, and I think um, as a business coach I have a huge responsibility um, to not um, kind of magnify that idea um, and to not sort of try to be um the you know it's like this instagram isn't it instagram versus reality i don't want to um reflect this idea that you know as a business coach i am therefore perfect at business and that's what we should all be aspiring to i am not i make mistakes all the time and one of the big reasons that i wanted to come and talk about this is aside from wanting to be transparent and wanting to kind of go look you know, um, please don't be afraid to make mistakes um, because it is very difficult to grow if you don't make mistakes. And um, the second reason um, that I wanted to come and talk about this is is the idea of courage. And, and to me, you know, it's more important to value courage um, and, you know, and daring, <laughs> taking Brady's word, um, than it is to aspire to perfection, which ultimately, you know, we are not going to achieve. Um, when we start aspiring to perfection, um, you know, we, we're kind of like, you know, on, on, a, on a road to disappointment. Um, when we aspire to be brave, when we aspire to courage, um, you know, isn't that just more rewarding and, um, you know, more likely to be successful? Um, so I wanted to kind of just come and share that. The reason, you know, it, it's a good thing to make mistakes um, because it means that you're being brave. It means you're trying new things. It means you're putting yourself out there. Um, and when you do all of those things, um, you will make mistakes, but you will also grow. You will also learn. You will also see success. Um, and that 
um, is why it's so important. And that is why I wanted to come and share that, yes, I make mistakes. I'm a business coach. That does not mean that I have some perfect strategy that I've, you know, discovered some secret um, way of growing a business without making mistakes. I haven't. What I have done is I've kept going. Um, I've tried to learn from my mistakes. Um, I've tried to stay brave. Um, I've tried to, you know, get up when I've fallen down, when I've, you know, when something hasn't gone the way um, that I wanted it to, um, and look at it and kind of go, okay, what can I take from this? Um, you know, um, my coach used to say, what's the gift? which I think is like a, a lovely way of looking at it, sometimes a difficult way of looking at it, especially when you're right in that moment of like, <laughs> it's gone wrong, it's, you know, everything, I, I, you know, it's not working the way I want, to then kind of go, what's the gift? It's sometimes a bit like, gift? Um, but yeah, really, what is the gift? You know, there, if you can look at mistakes, failures as gifts, as a way to grow and learn, then isn't that a great kind of change of perspective? Um, so um, I didn't want to kind of leave this by just kind of coming and going, hey, I'm a business coach, business coach, I make loads of mistakes. I wanted to also share, you know, as someone who makes mistakes, what can I actually help you with? And it is that idea of, you know, looking at your business, identifying those things that are holding you back, identifying the blocks that, that you may be struggling with and supporting you through those. Um, I do bring, you know, a lot of strategic um, experience and knowledge. So yes, of course I make mistakes, but that's because I'm always trying new things. It's because I'm always testing new strategies. And so I can bring that learning and experience um, with me um, to support you as well. Um, I have, you know, experience as a professional copywriter, a professional social media manager and a, a professional email marketer um, that I can bring to you, um, you know, br bring that experience to you. So um, yes, I make mistakes. And yes, I will continue to make mistakes. Um, I will um, do, um, you know, c content that falls flat, I will um, do launches um, that don't go the way I planned. Um, and that is because I strive to continue to be brave, to continue to put myself out there, um, to try new things, to be innovative, to be creative. And I absolutely challenge you to do the same. Let's let go of this need to be perfect. Let's let go of this idea that when we make mistakes, that is a reflection on our, um, uh, you know, abilities, um, you know, us as a person. Um, it isn't. Um, if you look at the most successful people in this world, the reason that they've got where they are is because they haven't been afraid to make mistakes, um, because they will have made more mistakes than most of us, um, and that's how they have reached their success. Um, so I challenge you to go and make a few mistakes today um, and see what you can learn from it. Um, so um, I hope that's um, lit a few light bulbs, and um, hopefully um, in the spirit of, um, as I say, um, trying to be um, as tra transparent as possible. This is a bit of a challenge I set myself um, this year um, to try and really um, not just talk about um, transparency and, and authenticity, but really um, to do it. Um, There's another whole different topic that I could go on about for ages, and you, um, no doubt I should be back again at, at some point talking about those, those, those topics as well. But um, yeah, have a wonderful day. Go and enjoy the sunshine. Although if you're in the UK, it's probably freezing cold sunshine. I've just been for a walk and it, it was chilly um, but very beautiful and um, if you haven't already come and join us over in Fully Book Mums um, I go live in there a couple of times a week as well um, tomorrow we have a workshop on um, five ways to sell that don't feel like selling that's at 10 a.m tomorrow morning um, so do come and join us and I shall see you again here on the page um, next Wednesday take care